Hey folks, what's good? Hope you're well. DevOps Rob here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I am going to take you through part two of my compute solution. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I did a video which was a tour of my desk and I mentioned in that video that I was having some issues with compute when it comes to video editing and some of the other demands that I have. Um, so I did another video where I unboxed a Mac Pro, which is sat right here next to me. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through part two of my compute solution. So with that said, I just wanna say, I hope you subscribe to the channel. If you're not, please do hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video as well. Give it a thumbs up if this is the type of content you wanna see. Uh, leave a comment and let me know if there's any questions you have or anything like that. Uh, and with that, let's just get straight into it. So part two of the compute solution is to build a PC, right? I'm gonna call it a gaming PC because that's gonna be a big part of what I'm gonna use it for. Right? So I decided to go with this case, which is the NZXT H1. I'll just quickly show it to the camera. Now, the reason why I've gone with this case is quite simple. I was looking for a case which had a really small form factor. So as we know, this is a mini um, ITX case. The other reason why I like this case is because it has a few things built in. Uh, so for example, it has a built-in power supply, it has built-in CPU cooling. Uh, pretty much as someone who's very green to building PCs, uh, there are a few things that are already done for me. So I think this is a, a, a nicer, more gentle introduction to the world of building PCs. Um, so. That's the reason why I chose that. We have some other parts as well, which um, Scan Computers is the, the supplier that I use. So with that, let's just open up the box. So what we have from Scan Computers is a box of components. We'll go through these now. Now the first element that we've got inside the box is the motherboard and I went for the X570, all right? So I'll just show you that there. Uh, I went for that just pretty much because it, it seemed like a good fit for the case that I was going for. Had really good reviews uh, and in terms of all the ports and the things that I needed, um, it just seemed to fit the bill. Um, so, you know, I'm not an expert with these things here, so time will tell whether I made a good choice or not. But this is the first thing out of the box, right? So we need a motherboard as part of this, this build. So we have the case, which has the power supply built in. It has inbuilt CPU cooling. And now we have a motherboard that we can put inside that case, right? We have another box inside here. Let's see what this is. So very important. We've got Windows 10, which is the operating system I'm gonna be installing on that. So we'll pop that over there. And I went with the Vengeance, uh, what model? This is the LPX Vengeance uh, version of the uh, RAM modules. So this is a pack of two 32 gig um, memory sticks. So that will give me a total of 64 gig in terms of memory. So that's pretty good. I also went for the non-LED versions. You know, I don't have sort of a, um, a fancy case which is gonna be on display. Like the plan for this is to be behind my monitor. So because of that, it doesn't really matter whether we have RGB inside of it. It's just kind of irrelevant. So I don't really see the point of paying more money for that. So we have that there. This looks like some thermal paste um, which comes inside. I didn't actually realize this came with it. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. I'll always take some thermal paste. And here we have two one terabyte Samsung SSD drives. So altogether, storage drives are gonna have two terabytes inside there. I can obviously upgrade that at a future date. Um, but there we go. We have them there. Let's just keep that to one side. And we have, I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna, I really don't know what this is. So let's just open this up and see what it is. I ordered this stuff over a month ago, so um, my memory is actually a bit hazy as to what I actually ordered. Let's see if we can get inside here with my unboxing knife. Ah, here we go. 
So we have the AMD Ryzen 3900X CPU chip. All right, let's see if we can get you a bit closer to the camera. So this looks really good. I'm just gonna pop that back in there because we need to look after this. And then the final component we need for this case build is a graphics card, right? Now, there's a lot of talk about the NVIDIA graphics cards. You know, some people were saying that they were gonna get the 2080 and they didn't really have the patience to wait around for the pre-orders for the, the 30 series. Um, I was not one of those people, right? I opted for the Zotac 3070. This is the RTX 3070, right? Um, like I say, the reason why I've been waiting a month for this is because this was holding up the order. Um, I'm really excited to see what all the hype around this graphics card is. Um, Zotac, I think the way that they've done their cooling is going to be uh, quite harmonious with the case I've got. Because I think with the Founders Edition, it, it needs like a pass through from all the videos I've seen. So it kind of sucks air in and blows it out of the back, which, you know, in my case, that's just going to blow it straight onto the motherboard and the CPU. And it's just going to give me all kinds of issues. So I quite liked what I saw with the Zotac RTX version. So um, I really can't wait to uh, actually build this. But yeah, so that's pretty much all the components I have there. So as you can see, my compute solution, just to recap, is made up of two machines. So first is gonna be a Mac Pro. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to video editing and all of that kind of stuff on there. Uh, and then the PC is gonna be more your day-to-day, -day, maybe programming, so writing code and gaming especially is, is a big deal for me here. So I'm gonna be playing a lot of Call of Duty and Overwatch and I think this actually comes with a free uh, Valhalla uh, uh, PC version of a game. So. Yeah, I can't wait. So I'm actually gonna build all this stuff in a separate video, so watch this space here. But until then, I'm gonna draw a line there and say thank you very much for joining me. It's been real, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.